what's going on guys my name is greg and welcome back to the channel welcome to my how to make series today i'm doing arthur shelby tommy shelby's brother from peaky blinders i had this requested for me in black ops 3 never got around to it dude i was trying some new stuff and then my computer crapped out on me so i just never got around to making it i apologize but literally it is just the same thing as the tommy shelby logo just a little bit of changes uh not only is it just adding a mustache but i do elongate the face a little bit uh, and made a few changes so let's go ahead and jump right into it we're going to start with a black background here and then we're going to go ahead and get a gray half circle another gray half circle it's pretty much the exact same as tommy uh, shelby except for the color here um I did want to change it up a little bit to make it at least a little bit different and unique. I'm not that great with faces, uh, personally, so this was just kind of like that middle ground for me, doing something that I've already done, um, and then kind of just mixing it up a little bit and giving you a new emblem out of something old, I guess. Um, that's just kind of how it is, because faces for me is just a very complicated uh, thing that just my mind doesn't work right. I can I can't draw them that well either. But I'm getting I'm learning I'm learning, and this is the only different layer that's not a half circle at this point. And I'll show you exactly where this is at. Um, you're gonna find this in the patterns. If you've seen the Tommy Shelby logo, you know how pretty much how to do this one. Um, we're looking at the glob here, which is what we're using, and then we're gonna get two of these crests. One here, you find these in the shades, and another one here. And then we're going to head put some paintball on the side um, of the things. Oh, I didn't even show you where the crest is. I'll go back and show you where those are at. I'm just kind of rushing through this because I know how it's done. Crest um, is right there in the shapes. And then if you want paintball, it's right here in the patterns. Okay, and you just want one on each side. And then uh, get a circle here. Now, like I said, if you watch the Tommy Shelby emblem, I used a totally different color for Tommy. I used two, I used three up for Tommy, but I used four up for Arthur because he looks a little bit, uh, a little bit more tan um, from the pictures I've seen of him. Uh, Googling him, of course, trying to find out what's the right emblem uh, or right picture to try to use, to try to recreate an emblem here. I'm gonna put uh, sharp here. You'll find these in the pad. I mean, the shapes. It's right here. And get two of those and then you want to get a circle here another circle another circle And another circle. Another circle. And another circle. We're just kind of just putting circles here. There's quite a few circles and sharps going on uh, for this, for just these emblems in general, because it's just kind of my my way of doing it. I'm pretty sure somebody else could do it way more advanced than I can, but it is what it is. It's my style, I guess. And get another sharp here. And another sharp. Then we get another circle. Like so, and then one more. Then another sharp. And another sharp. Then you want to get this fin like thing. I think it is like, that's actually the name of it, I think is fin. We'll put that here. And you will find this right here. Then you'll get a circle here. Oh, sorry. I'm just kind of flashing it here, not meaning to. 
You just want to kind of cut the corner off a little bit there, like so, and then get another circle here. Like so. And you want to get these, uh, I don't know, splatter effects here. And we'll find these in patterns. Uh, splotch is the name it is. And you put one down here as well. Then you want to get this wiggly line here. Uh, I think it's called Marble Center. Which makes sense but you find that right here and then actually we just passed the main and you put one here and you put one here then you want to get this crest again and give it about a 50 opacity and main you'll find in the shapes here I forgot to show you that right there then you want to get a few of these um, and these are called I think windsock if I'm not mistaken windsock yeah windsock grab two of those put it here about 30 opacity is good then you want to get uh, this shape I can't, I can't remember the name of this shape ever kiss and you'll get two more crests. Oops, I guess somebody's. I guess I'm inviting myself. Um, another crest. Jeez, I'm sorry. And then you want to get this splotch here. And then you want to grab two of these. Uh, these, um. Uh, sharps here Don't worry you won't hear it. You'll just see it pop up um, Anywho, uh, you find the patterns for the top there. Sorry. I'm just like very distracted right now uh, I think it's called disintegrate. Oh, no, that's not it um, Not disintegrate you'll f it's uh, Right here micro is microcosm then you grab these, um, can't remember the name of these things, but you want a very light, light blue on this. Just want to get these, this video up. I'm just trying bone, find two of these, um, and do another bone right here. And then you want to get these two rhino horns and I'll show you what color to make them just so you don't know where you're going here. Um, but you'll find these all the way down at the bottom of the shapes here. Right here. And then you want to go into color. You want to get the that brown right there. Toggle color mixer. Head all the way to 18 red, 9 green, and 0 blue. And you want two of those. Like so. Then you want to grab these. You'll find these in the patterns. Kind of just make these a little bit of an opacity. These are like claw marks. I don't know what they're called. Um, but we'll find them right. Scratch? I think I used these ones. Ink ink lines. No, I used scratch. Use scratch, my bad. Um, just do brown, the dark brown, and black throughout it. Um, going off the mustache is fine. It's kind of how I want it. Then you want to go into the patterns. And get this shield here. And you just want to get it the dark brown. You don't have to adjust the color or anything like that. But you'll find this in backgrounds. And it's right here. And then you'll get two of those. And then kind of put a black over top of it. You're just like at a 65 opacity. Then you want to grab like the scratch here. And do like a 30 opacity. And you'll find this in the patterns. Um, and this is actually right here. Scribble. Oh no, it's not. That's roadkill. Roadkill. Jesus, I still have not gotten used to this uh, thing. Roadkill. There we go. And then you want to go get two circles. Make one red.
Make one brown. I mean, one orange. Then this is the only time I really go into the icons here. And you want to grab a cloud and just kind of make it like a 30 opacity. And you'll find this in the icons. Um, right here. Think. And then you want to grab windsock again. Make it red. Put it here. And then make it another red and put it here. And then get a red sharp. And you want to put it here. And that's it. That is Arthur, my, ver, my Arthur Shelby. I hope you guys do enjoy it. I'm sorry I was a little distracted throughout the video. I'm sorry for the interruptions. Um, I'm trying the best I can. I'm, I'm just dealing with a lot trying to get everything back up. I don't know what, like, I'm trying to figure out. I got stopped for so long, and I'm just trying to figure out what I want to make up, whether it's a review, whether do a lot of these emblems, just emblems, emblems, emblems. I know I got the podcast coming up Friday. I'm just trying to get everything back on track for you guys, and I really appreciate everybody sticking around, new subscribers. Um, my emblems were made before um, I even got back here. I was waiting to get back here on YouTube. Uh, I got the two other videos done a little bit before what happened. Um, everything that happened. Actually, um, I'm sorry. I think I messed up on this. Uh, this one, you want to kind of just stretch it out a little bit. Like so. Like that. I'm sorry. There we go. Um, yeah, but I was just trying so much. We're going to have to save the changes. And then I'll go ahead and put it as my emblem. And then we'll show you what it looks like outside. And it looks like that. Or it looks like that up in the corner. Call of Duty doesn't focus too much on its emblems for some reason. I don't know why. But I hope you guys do enjoy this emblem. If you do enjoy it, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Or hit that dislike. Comment on any emblems you want me to attempt. Any emblems that you want me to do. I'll do my very best to get up to you as soon as possible. i got a few other ones that i got to get up here. Um, also, if you like the content I put on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please, it uh, really helps out. And uh, thank you guys so much for everything. And I will see you guys in the next video.